Hey guys, so in this video we are going to be doing this green, Phoebe's whining. It's a very soft, light, green, silvery, glittery kind of look. I don't know how to explain it, but I was just on Instagram yesterday and I saw a look like kind of similar to this and I had no idea who it was. I really wish I could remember so that I could like tell you guys and show you. Shimmer even in the crease and on the lower lash line, which is so different from what I normally do. I feel like I say this a lot. If you're familiar with my channel, then you know I really just like neutral looks and wearable looks. And I like to show you guys that you can wear color in a more wearable way. And I just think that this is such a nice wearable way to wear green eyeshadow. It was pretty pretty easy to do. Um, so I hope you guys enjoy this tutorial. And yeah, let's just get right into it. I'm gonna start out with some skincare. I'm gonna start with the Rodan and Fields Active Hydration Bright Eye Complex. I use this before makeup just because it's a really thin gel-like formula and it hydrates the eyes without being too thick under concealer. And then I'm going to go in with the Origins Ginseng Moisturizer. For the exact same reason, it's just very like jelly and light under makeup. I've been trying to be better about using actual skincare in the morning other than just putting on a primer. And just because my primers are moisturizing, I always feel like, oh, that's good enough. But I'm really trying to be better about my morning skincare. So to prep the eyes, I'm gonna use the Jouer, what is this called? Essential High Coverage Liquid Concealer. I'm using this on the eyes just because it's very full coverage. And it's a pretty light color too. I'm just going to blend that out with my beauty blender. I don't really think I like this for under the eyes because it's just a lot. If you are familiar with my style, I am a lot more like dewy, natural, light coverage and this is the opposite of all of that. I just have heard people rave about it so much and which is why I bought it in the first place. But I just feel like, I don't know, it's a little much for me. I'm going to go in with, to the Morphe Jaclyn Hill Vault Collection. This is the Dark Magic palette and I've talked about this shade so many times, poof. And I'm just going to use that to set my eyelids. This is a Real technique setting brush. So I always use poof to set my base down and then I always, always grab the Frencation palette from Desi and Katie and I'm gonna start with basic. I don't really want a brown crease, but I just, I just physically cannot go in with eyeshadow without having some sort of neutral crease down. I don't know, I don't know why I'm like this, but it just, that's just the way I am, I don't know. I'm gonna jump back into the Dark Magic palette to take the shade Potion. I'm gonna use a Morphe M433 just because it's a smaller brush, I can start to kind of build it up. I really don't wanna like blow this color out too much. I'm just gonna start kind of bringing some green to the look. I also don't want like too much depth. I just, I'm trying to kind of build a base to be able to blend out everything and make a more cohesive look. I'm being very, very, very light-handed with this and because I had that base color, like a neutral color down, it does help to make this green look a little bit more neutral. Going back in with my bigger blending brush to hit the edges. Because even though we have green eyeshadow, it's really important to be able to blend that green color into your skin. So to continue to have a more green base, I'm just going to really load that color on and put it all over the lid. So for the lid, I'm going to be using this ColourPop shadow. It's called Game Changer. I'm just gonna load it onto my brush and spray it with a bit of a setting spray just to intensify the color. The shade is green, but it's more of a silvery green. I'm gonna bring the shade into the crease a little bit too, because I don't really want this look to be like more structured. Um, I want it to just kind of be blown out, but in a soft way, if that makes sense. I wanna to continue to bring a little more silver to this look, so I'm gonna go into Power Cut from the 
dark magic palette again. And I'm just going to, I'm just gonna be really light handed to see. I'm doing literally the smallest, smallest, smallest amount of shadow. Just to uh, kind of like neutralize that green a little bit more. Stila Magnificent Metals eyeshadow. This is in Diamond Dust. And I'm not gonna put this directly on my eyes because I don't want it to be like too pigmented with the silver. I just wanna get some of that glitter. So I'm just going to put some of it on my palette and pick it up with that same brush that has some green on it. And I'm just going to pat that over top. And again, I'm gonna bring this up into the crease area. You want something tragic is I lost my liquid eyeliner. I have absolutely no idea where it is. So what I'm actually gonna do instead is go back into this palette, Dark Magic palette, I keep forgetting what it's called. I'm gonna take the shade Mojo. I'm just gonna put this on an angled brush and just very lightly kind of line the lash line just so my lashes blend really nicely. And I absolutely love the shade name, it just, a lot of meaning in my life because <laughs> I am Morgan. My nickname is Mo. And my boyfriend is Joe. My brother is Jordan. So he is also like a Joe. So my whole life I've been a Mojo. And I just love that this eyeshadow is named Mojo. I'm just gonna lightly blend out the edges of that so you don't see really like a liner, but I'll still have some definition right at the lash line. I'm just going to quickly coat my lashes in mascara. This is the L'Oreal Lash Paradise in case you didn't know that that's all I use. <laughs> just gonna pop on some lashes. These lashes are flutter lashes in the style Barb. I just like these because they're a little bit shorter, um, but they're still pretty full so they still add like the lash look, but um, you can just like see the eyes a lot more. And I think they work really well for this look that's a little bit more just like light and like, I don't know, not like dimensional and dramatic and stuff. I'm just gonna go ahead and clean up all this fallout and then we'll get started on skin. I'm going to prime my skin with the Dr. Brandt Pores No More Luminizer Primer. I hate why all these primers have such long names. I can never keep these all straight. Since I already put on my skincare, I don't feel the need to do like something super, super hydrating, even though this is a little bit, um, but I'm doing this obviously more for like the glow aspect and not so much the um, hydrating aspect. I do have glitter, I mean like all over my face, but there are worse things in life than having glitter all over your face. I'm going to use the Physician's Formula Healthy Foundation. Yes. Mine is in the shade NMW2. I always want to say NW because like MAC. Which is actually like a really good color. When I was looking at the shades, I was really afraid that they were all going to be like super pink. Um, but this one's like a really good like olive tone. The uh, doe foot is very foreign to me. I don't know if I have another foundation. I don't think I have another foundation that has a big doe foot, so um, I don't know how I feel about it. It's a little, um, I feel like the doe foot doesn't hold that much product on it, so you just keep having to dip back in and dip back in, which is kind of annoying. I feel like I'd rather just have like a pump or a squeezy tube, but it's fine. I feel as if I have not formed an opinion on this foundation yet. I really, I like it, but I so far don't necessarily feel like there's anything about it that makes me feel like oh, this is so much better than any other foundation I've ever used. Like I wear it and I like it. I actually got like a compliment on it, which is awesome. That's what you want when you wear new makeup, right? But I don't know. It's just something I, I just don't know that I've decided how I feel yet. Um, so you guys can let me know what you think in the comments if you think that this looks like incredible or if you're just like, no, it's just the same as every other foundation you use, you know? It is a lighter coverage, like I can still totally see 
all my spots and stuff, which is like, you guys know I'm good with that. Like that is good with me. Um, it is like a healthy look, but it does like feel drier. Not that it feels dry, but it feels drier than it looks, which I guess is a good thing, right? Like it looks glowy, but it's not tacky, which I do like that. I don't know. I just, I don't know. I haven't decided yet. I'm going to go in with the Too Faced Born This Way Concealer. I have the shade Light Beige. I did get a darker one recently because the one I had was just like way too light for when I was tan. And obviously that's a little bit lighter than my foundation, so it's more of a highlighting shade. So I'm going to take the Makeup Revolution Concealer in C8, which matches my skin a little bit more. And I'm just going to do like some more concealing around my cheeks. This is just where my like freckles have just grown <laughs> out of control. So I've just been like doing this a little bit more lately, which is annoying to me because even though I do prefer lighter coverage, that's like the thing with lighter coverage that I think people forget is like spot conceal, right? Like just spot conceal where you need it. It bums me out that I have to spot conceal now. Like I used to never have to spot conceal, so it sucks. I'm just gonna set my under eyes with the Charlotte Tilbury Magic Powder, and then I'm gonna set the rest of my face with the Hourglass Powder, which is just my absolute favorite ever. And next I'm gonna go in with the Hourglass Ambient Lighting Powder in Luminous Light. I'm using this on the JH06 brush from the Jaclyn Hill and Morphe collection. I'm obsessed with this brush. I'm just using this for like a very light like glow all over the skin. Well, not all over, but just like the high points. Then going into my usual high maintenance bronzing process, starting with the MAC Give Me Sun. If you guys have not watched my most recent foundation routine video. Um, I don't know if it was like the last video or like two videos ago. I forget to be honest, but, um, I really went more in depth as to why I do all this. Next, I'm going into Benefit Hula with the JH05 brush. Honestly, I feel like with the Jaclyn Hill collection, the eye brushes are good, but not so good that I've forgotten about my eye brushes that I've loved for a long time, but the face brushes in this collection are really top notch. Like these two that I just used, and the one that I used to set my under eye, which was the JH07. Like, I don't know, just like, I'm in love with like those three brushes. They're like now a permanent part of my routine. For highlighter, I'm gonna use Becca Moonstone. And I hit pan. I don't think I've ever hit pan on a highlighter before. I used to always switch up my Becca highlighters. Like I would use Opal when I was tan. Then I would use Champagne Pop most of the time. Like when I was more like not necessarily tan but not super pale. And then I would use Moonstone when I was like super pale. Now I just use Moonstone all the time. I just, especially since I've been layering my highlights. Um, and I'm not necessarily using like strictly Moonstone alone, but I just absolutely love the color of it. So for blush, I'm going to go in with the Milani T Rose blush and I'm going to use the Bobbi Brown sheer powder brush. I have been in love with this brush for years. I actually used to work for Bobbi Brown, but I have kept this in like my professional kit for so long but I don't really do a lot of makeup anymore. So I'm like, you know what? I want to have this brush for myself now. <laughs> so I'm using this brush for myself now and I'm so happy because to me, it's like the perfect brush for putting on blush. Like I don't really like the typical blush brush. I like them more. I like that it's tapered. Um, I like that it puts on a very light layer of powder. Like I don't like a lot of blush. So I just, love this brush like it is expensive compared to most of the brushes that I use like now I don't know that I would ever buy like a $40 brush like Morphe's got me covered you know but I don't even know how much this brush is anymore I think it's like around 30 or $40 Bobby Brown's brushes are not cheap so but I'm just I love this brush so I'm just going to finish up the eyes um and I'm just going to use the Marc Jacobs um blacker 
eyeliner just to do a little tight line. It just makes such a difference with making the lashes blend necessary stuff for me. And for the lower lash line, I'm going to use this Ofra eyeliner and it's called Green Go. Um, I believe I got this in like a boxy charm or something like a long time ago. And I'm just going to, I'm not really going to put this in the waterline. I'm just going to kind of like line the lower lash line with it. I'm going to use the JH39 brush. It's kind of like a pencil brush. The reason I'm going to use this one is because it's very small and dense and it is synthetic hair. So I really want it to like pack on this product. I'm going to go back into the ColourPop eyeshadow in Game Changer. I keep forgetting the name of that. And I'm just going to put this on the lower lash line right over top of that eyeliner. This is against everything I normally do. Like, I never put shimmers on the lower lash line. I never put shimmers in the crease. But I just really like this look of this super light green. I don't know. Like, I really like this. I'm going to take this Wet n Wild Skinny Mascara. This is perfect for the lower lash line because the brush is just so small. Ooh, ooh, ooh. I don't like a lot of mascara on my lower lashes, but I do like to kind of bring them back to life after putting eyeshadow all over them. And I also love this mascara for, even though I put mascara on my upper lashes before lashes, false well, lashes, um, sometimes there's still some eyeshadow stuff to them and you can't really see it until you put on your lashes and you see just like this really light lash sticking out. So I just kind of, do like this because I don't want it on my lashes because I want to keep my lashes really nice but the little brush helps to just get like that one lash that still has shadow on it. I know exactly the look I want to do but everything is downstairs so I'm gonna go get it and I'll be right back. For me I think either this look I would want like a light pink um, which if you know me I don't really like pink or like a really like brownie nude so that's what I'm gonna go for which I used to like never be into my coworker the Christmas present she got me, the most perfect brownie nude. So I'm gonna do that combination because I've been absolutely loving it. I'm gonna start with MAC Pro Longwear Lip Pencil and it, etc. Then I'm gonna go in with this Morphe lipstick. This is a matte formula in the shade Honey. I love this lipstick. My lips are so like peeling right now, it's weird. I have not been drinking enough water, clearly. It is a matte formula, but it's so, like it's like thin and it's so soft. I just, I love this lipstick. I'm gonna go over it with the Morphe lip gloss in Freebird. I actually would like this to be a little bit lighter. I'm gonna go with the Anastasia lip gloss in Undressed, just in the center. I am going to set my whole face down with the Morphe. Oh wait, no, I'm not. I <laughs> I forget to do this a lot because my eyebrows are microbladed and I don't fill them in, but I like to just run some clear brow gel through them. This is the Anastasia one, and I like to do this just to um, kind of get off any makeup I got on my brows and also to set down the hairs in place because even though they're microbladed, they're still crazy. So, and now I'm going to set my face down with the Morphe setting spray. All right, guys, that's it for this tutorial. I hope you enjoyed it. Yeah, I'm like really excited about the way it came out because I was actually, it's the morning time right now, and I was actually gonna wash my face before I went to work because like I never wear makeup like this to work, but I like it so much I actually just might wear it. So yeah, I hope you guys enjoy this makeup look too. I think it's, I, th I like it. I think it's fun, but I feel like, I feel like comfortable just like wearing this the rest of the day. So I actually didn't see that coming. I thought I was gonna do like a really like green makeup look and then I was gonna like wanna wash it off. And um, so yeah, I hope you guys enjoyed it too. Don't forget to give it a thumbs up if you did and subscribe to see more of me and more of Phoebe. I always say that and I usually pick her up and show her to you guys, but she actually just got fixed and she's doing really, really well, but um, I don't really feel comfortable holding her, so 
So that's it. I'll see you guys in my next one.